Greetings and good day, this is Donnie with TechWinner and thank you so much for joining me. Well guys, recently I gave you an update about my Spotlight Cam battery, this thing after two years, bit the dust, contacted Ring Support and they totally came through for me in the clutch and they actually did send me a replacement. Now they told me that this is a brand new one, not refurbished, um, but I haven't even taken it out of the box. So today we're gonna unbox it, we're going to set it up inside the app and then I'll also be installing it out at my shed as well. So without any further ado, let's dive in and let's take a look. All right, so as I mentioned, I haven't even opened this box yet, so I'm literally doing it right now. You're getting all the reactions to all the stuffs as I'm opening this thing up. So, ooh, fancy. There it is inside here. They have also, just one thing, as I'm making a ton of noise over here. One thing that I've noticed is these boxes have actually gotten significantly smaller than what they used to be. The original one that I had, which yes, it was refurbished, it still came in the packaging, it was still sealed and everything like that, but it was a much bigger box. So they've definitely simplified things over time. And it's got this lovely little tab here I'm pulling on. There's something satisfying about opening up new stuffs. So diving in. And I did ask them for a black one for the replacement and they sent me a white one. So I'm not sad, not super complaining, but I got another white one. So I was, since I had requested a black one, I was hoping that would be the case. And uh, you know, I had mentioned on the, uh, the DIY solar panel project that I if I had it to do over again, I wouldn't have gotten a black one. So I'm kind of a little bit bummed right now. But it does have all the install equipment and everything in here. They've simplified that packaging as well. There's a little charging cable in here. There's the screwdriver tools just for comparison. I have the, the old screwdriver. It was like this orange one. They've kind of made that blue on some of the newer stuff. And as it slides out of my hand, they, since I'm going to be reusing a, or using a white one again. I was thinking I was going to end up replacing the actual bracket, um, but I won't have to do that. So it's going to make the reinstall a whole lot faster for me when we get out there actually to the shed. So of course, ring stickers are included in the package. I'm kind of bummed about the white one. I, I really wanted to get the, the black camera out there. So it's okay. Thanks, Ring. I mean, you're sending me something like brand new, replacing it for free. So I really have nothing to be complaining about. So one thing that I am noticing like right off the bat with the newer model versus the original, the button to actually release the, the battery on the older version is just, it was like very flat and getting to it was a total pain to actually get it to open. It was, it was kind of a hassle. It looks like with the slightly newer version, modified version of this, they've actually raised that button to where it's not flat anymore. So opening that up is definitely a lot easier now. That is super handy. So just opening this thing up and I'm going to release the battery pack out of here. And there's like this little orange strip in here. Charge before use. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one aside since I have other battery packs in here. We're gonna go ahead and throw those two in. And right off the bat, I'm gonna point out that you can see this globe is charged, kind of flashing. That's a fantastic sign, it's a good thing. So this thing where you actually mount it to the wall, this piece you can have it basically oriented to where it's at the top of the camera or it's at the bottom. So in my case, I want it to be at the bottom because it's mounted to it. It's mounted to something like this and it'd be kind of pointing at the sky unless I flipped it upside down, which you really can't do with ring stuff. So I don't know why by default they have it mounted that way in here. But if I remember correctly, I can press down on this little button here, slide and reverse. And that also opens up to where that little DC port is in the back. They've got a little rubber gasket if you're not plugging into a solar panel. 
you would put a rubber gasket over that little plug, but I'm gonna leave that open so that I can plug in my solar panel out there to continue to keep these batteries topped off and charged. Also just pointing out, they did put a little sticker on the back here that says press to release battery compartment, which we had already done. I am removing that and there's something satisfying about removing plastic as well. So now this thing is unsheathed and it's ready to be now set up inside the Ring app. All right, so I'm now inside the Ring app and I'm going through here and I'm going to the hamburger menu on the left side, it's the three lines, and I'm going down to devices and we are going to be setting up a new device to replace the shed. Just to kind of see there, if I go in, there's not a whole lot I can do here. Um, if I try to reconnect to it, it's really not gonna give me any options to do that. But there should be a way for me to be able to set this up as replacing an existing camera. All right, so as I'm going in here, I'm now at a point to where I need to be able to scan this product. Okay, so it did pick that up very quickly and I am going to call this a Spotlight Cam Solar. All right, so because I said solar, essentially it's gonna walk me through what that setup would be. I'm not worried about setting that up right now. Um, so give this Spotlight Cam a name. I'm going to see if it's possible for me to, see this is where it's not giving me the chance to set this up as a replacement. Hmm. All right, so I'm on the screen where it's asking me to give it a name. I'm going to call it Shed, and we're going to see what happens because that's what I'm replacing. And it's telling me to go ahead and set up the battery. We're going to continue, and we're going to continue. And yes, it says, it, it's asking if the light is flashing, which totally is. All right, now I need to connect to its Wi-Fi setup network. Connecting to Spotlight Cam, and it's just in this connecting phase. All right, we're going to add it to my network, and apparently Alexa's seeing that this thing now exists. Uh, I'm gonna say I already installed it because I just really don't need to go through those steps. We can skip, just so we can go ahead and get in here and do a live look. So I'm a little disappointed that it's counting it, considering it like a separate camera from the other one, as you can see here. Basically, it's calling it a seventh camera. There should be an easier way, Ring, this is a little bit of feedback for you guys. There should be an easier way to identify that I am using this to replace a damaged offline camera without having to reset up those settings again. All right, as you can see here, the app, it's actually picking up and it's working as I, as, as I film myself filming myself. So as you can see here, I also had the bracket already out at the shed. So plugging this thing into the solar cable that I had for charging as well was very basic. Um, basically two screws hold that cable actually in place. And Ring has a great design here for the actual mount itself and the way that it's connected. There's basically a little screw that you can tighten down there that holds it securely in place. And as you can see on the front of this too, I wanted to point out, they changed the hinge a little bit, which actually makes it far more water resistant, the best that I can tell as well. And what install would not be completed without having an actual test, just to make sure that all the signal is looking good, everything's working like it should. Kudos to you, Ring, for all of your help. So guys, overall, this experience was absolutely excellent. Ring standing by their product. This was a refurb again that I purchased about two years ago. So them actually replacing that really no questions asked once we went through the troubleshooting steps and ensured that it couldn't work. Them sending this to me was excellent. I was a little disappointed they didn't change the color, but I don't really ding them for that. They also made the return process very simple. I had a code that was emailed to me that I could show to the UPS store. They printed the label. They taped up the box and everything was good to go as far as sending it back to Ring. And again, that one criticism that I have is if you're replacing an existing camera, I think they could do a better job of making that easier for their customers to where you're actually replacing it and all of those settings stay intact so that you don't have to drill down into the app and basically set up a bunch of settings and your preferences again, starting over from scratch. But Ring, thank you so much. You stand by your products, you followed through, and I'm grateful. And thank you so much for joining me. If you've had any Ring experiences, I'd love to hear about that in the comments. And if you haven't already, I'd ask you to consider liking and subscribing and hitting that bell notification so that you're always staying up to date with new content as it's uploaded. But for now, I'm Donnie with Tech Winner, helping you make winning decisions when it comes to your tech. You guys have a great day.